The Grand Slam Bat Company sells wooden baseball bats. The cost to manufacture X bats is given by C of X dollars. This includes overhead cost and production cost for each bat. If the company sells X bats for the maximum price possible, the revenue function will be given by R of X dollars. How many bats should Grand Slam Bat Company produce and sell to maximize profit, and what is the maximum profit? We first need to find the profit function. Recall the profit function is equal to the revenue function minus the cost function. This indicates our profit function P of X is equal to the revenue function, which is the quantity negative 37X squared plus 255,000X. And then we have to subtract the cost function, giving us minus the quantity negative 30X squared plus 45,000X plus 20,203. Now it is important that we have the cost function in parentheses so that we subtract the entire cost function. And now let's go ahead and simplify. Let's remove the parentheses and then combine like terms. We have P of X equals, we can drop the first set of parentheses. We have negative 37 X squared plus 255,000 X. And now we need to subtract each term of the cost function minus negative 30 X squared simplifies to plus 30 X squared. Then we have minus 45,000 X. And then we have minus 20,203. And now we need to combine like terms. Notice how we have two X squared terms and we also have two X terms. Simplifying, we have P of X equals negative 37 X squared plus 30 X squared simplifies to negative seven X squared. And then 255,000 X minus 45,000 X simplifies to plus 210,000 X. And then we still have minus 20,203. So this is our profit function. Notice the profit function is a quadratic function where a, the leading coefficient, is equal to negative seven. We should recognize, we should recognize this means the graph is a parabola that opens down, meaning it looks something like this. And therefore, if we find the vertex, the x-coordinate will be the number of bats they should produce in the cell to maximize profit, and the y-coordinate or the function value of p of x would be the maximum profit. Recall when we have a quadratic function in general form, or the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, we can find the vertex by determining the ordered pair negative b divided by 2a comma f of negative b divided by 2a. So let's first find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which again will give us the quantity the bat company should produce and sell to maximize profit. We need to find x equals negative b divided by 2a, where notice a is equal to negative seven, and b is equal to 210,000. This gives us negative 210,000 divided by two times negative seven, which is equal to negative 210,000 divided by negative 14, which is equal to 15,000. So now we know the Grand Slam Bat Company should produce and sell 15,000 bats to maximize profit. And now for the second part, to find the maximum profit, we now need to evaluate the profit function at x equals 15,000. So the max profit will be given by P of 15,000, which is gonna be equal to negative seven times the square of 15,000 plus 210,000 times 15,000 minus 20,203. Now let's go to the calculator. Actually, if we use desmos.com, we can find this value much quicker by entering in the profit function and then entering in P of 15,000. Notice we have 1.574979797 times 10 to the power of nine, which is scientific notation. Let's first write this down 
and then convert to decimal notation. To convert to decimal notation, we move the decimal point nine places to the right, which indicates the maximum profit is one five seven four nine seven nine seven nine seven dollars which is one billion five hundred seventy four million nine hundred seventy nine thousand seven hundred ninety seven dollars and before we go let's verify this graphically to verify this graphically, we graph the profit function and then find the vertex. Notice in this case, I actually entered in y equals the revenue function minus the cost function. By doing this, I can also check to make sure the profit function is correct. The graph of the profit function is shown on the right, and notice we can verify that the vertex does have an x-coordinate of 15,000, and the y-coordinate, while it doesn't show as many decimal places, we have 1.575 times 10 to the 9th, which does verify our maximum profit is also correct. I hope you found this helpful.